Hey everybody, Tony with Hobby Hangover. Today I'm doing a recap of the um, Yankee uh, inside experience that they do at spring training. Uh, a friend of mine um, won it at an auction. It was uh, for two people. He invited me. I went and um, I'm going to just kind of rush through uh, the description because I've got videos of a lot of it. So starts out we had to be there at uh, 7.45 in the morning for things to start at 8. So we get there, it's 8 o'clock. Um, we walked into a room and, uh, and that room has, uh, gift bags and the gift bag, let me rush and get it. The gift bag was a cooler, was this Yankees cooler. like that put my name on it just to make sure because there's a lot of people there so about 30 people so it's a nice nice cooler things like that that was the, and it had uh, things in it all right inside the cooler it had a hat a program the hat you know nothing special on the hat typical you know Yankees Spring training deal. Had this, which I didn't open it. It's still in the plastic. I'm gonna try to keep as much um, things in the plastic as possible. I think it's got these earphones inside. This Derek Jeter patch. A replica championship ring, which is in here. It's heavy, but it's, you know, it's not gold or anything. Not that I'm complaining. Or I expected it to be, but. Some people would hold it by the weight and think that, you know, maybe it's somehow real. It's not. Water bottle, which was the giveaway at the stadium today. Just a plastic uh, water bag. But the cooler itself is really nice. And um, let's see, after that we got our bag and they pretty much went right into, oh, we got this lanyard. It has uh, our our uh, credential thing, and then this lanyard, Yankees. So that was included. After that, we pretty much got right into. I want to say I want to say they brought out the guests right at that point. Um, the first guests were the active players, and it was. Uh, Greg Bird and Aaron Judge, and they were um, there to take photographs right away. As soon as uh, we did the photographs, they handed us a ball that was already in this case, signed by both, to kind of save time, I guess. Nothing really was allowed to be signed um, during the photographs, but uh, Greg Bird talked to everybody. You could talk to the guys, you know, quickly just say what you had to say and you know have them answer if you didn't really have much to say this guy Greg Bird kept uh kept talking you know he's really friendly um Judge was friendly too but um Bird kept conversations going with everybody and um so after they handed you the ball you went back to your seat then they did a brief little Q&A you got to ask questions they answered them and um I'm I'm trying to remember if they brought out the second group or if they showed us the stadium, but I think it was uh, the stadium. So we did the stadium thing, uh, and we ate. They had a, a buffet spread. They had us walk through the 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 field, so we couldn't step on the field, but we could step on the grass. You know, the on deck circle, behind home, on home. Um, but we couldn't like be on the base path or, or the dirt, but we were in the dugouts. We were on the field taking pictures, you know, whatever you wanted. I got some good footage of that. Good pictures of that. Uh, we ate, uh, they had a uh, breakfast spread and which was pretty good. They had eggs, potato, milk, uh, coffee, juice, um, sausage, some kind of pastries. I don't know if it was donuts, but. It was pretty good. And then they brought out the celebrities, or not the celebrities, the, the Yankee legends. 
and the legends were Ron Guidry and Goose Gossage, and that was for photographs. And um, then they stated that uh, Goose Gossage had uh, photographs that he was going to sign, and um, Guidry um, wasn't. And they acted like that was to speed things along, but really, I don't. I don't think he just didn't want to. So they were both photographs. They were both friendly, but uh, here was the Goose Gossage autograph the photo has the uh, MLB uh, officially licensed thing it's got this little Cooperstown collection so it's official nice little photo and he signed it he first signed it in black and I politely asked him if I can get one in blue and uh, he was very accommodating of that he did one right away inscribed the Hall of Fame 2008 um, went over to Ron Guidry, took the quick photo, and the photo is, um, they did a professional photo and they were going to email them to us. I haven't checked for that email yet. I didn't receive it yet, but as soon as I receive, I'll put it into this video. So I'll wait for that, those pictures to actually, uh, include this in this video. Um, then we were allowed to, um, sit in on a, a, a Q and A where it was mainly not really stories, but I mean, not really questions, but stories with Gidry and Goose Gossage. They each told, uh, you know, a story about the old Yankee days. Um, there was a Q and A with, um, uh, the radio announcer for the Yankees. And after that, we could see the players were already, um, you know, warming up and, and taking BP on the field and throwing and stuff. So. They allowed us to go out there for early batting practice. We got out there like about an hour before um, they let people in, before they opened the gates. And it wasn't on the field, but we were in the stands. They opened it up to just every section for us. And um, the only guy I could get to sign was uh, Chris Carter. Got him in this case. I'll put the scan up at the end of the video on that so you can see. Even though it was blue on mainly blue, it still came out good. And then we went up to a section where we could eat, the bullpen um, club. And from 12 to 2, they basically had like an open buffet and drinks, uh, non-alcoholic. So it was uh, soda, water, uh, all the soda, water. They had desserts. They had uh, all kind of food up there. I pretty much ate a little bit of everything and, and showed it. So you guys will be able to see that. Uh, normally those bullpen... Um, that club area, they told me it was like $85, the people sitting there. $85 to be in there. And we got that as part of this thing. And uh, the game was going on. It was a close game. It was uh, like a 4-4 game. I don't know if it ended in a tie because had to drive back down from, from Tampa. So I went, we left like in the ninth inning when the crowd started filing out because uh, we figured that would be a good time. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to show all the videos that I took. I'm going to show the pictures that I took. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're a big Yankee fan and can afford it, because the normal price of this thing is like, a, like might be like $450 a person. Um, you know, we won it in the auction. My friend bought it, you know, got it in the auction, so he didn't have to pay that full price. But if you're a big Yankee fan and can afford it, it looks like um, they really got a kick out of it. Especially, you know, meeting a Hall of Famer and uh, another Yankee legend. And uh, apparently people are really going um, nuts over these young Yankees. They think that they've got some really great prospects. So, if you're a big Yankee fan and can afford it, and maybe if you're already in Florida anyway, so you don't have to travel too much or do airfare, whatever, it, it might be worth it for you. You know, because it is a good experience. I'm not a huge Yankee fan, really. I'm not a big Yankee fan. I'm a Mets fan. Um, but... This was a nice thing that the Yankees did. The ni a nice thing to even offer people. And uh, and they did a good job with it. And um, everybody who was involved in it had a really good time. Some The, the bigger Yankee fans were just, you know, um, going crazy about it. And I noticed that a lot of people um, seem to do it, you know, year after year. So it seems like once, you know, you get in it, like you kind of get hooked to it and see what they're going to give next year and who's going to be there next year and things like that. So... Again, I, I do. I would recommend it. Um, 
to anybody who's like a huge baseball fan and people who are big Yankee fans, I would recommend it. So, I mean, people were flying in from New York by themselves just to do it. So, all right, I'll roll the, the video footage. I'll show the pictures and I'll uh, scan the stuff and hopefully um, everybody likes it.
Yeah, I'm from the US. Yeah, I'm from the US. You're telling yourself they are here, they're going to do it. This magical ride that they had in 1996 is about to end. Charlie Hughes, you know, brought down that pot fly over near the near the uh, left field stands. It, uh, you know, it runs chills up my back. The moment after I caught the ball, uh, I realized uh, what had happened. Mm-hmm.